me. Hi everyone, I'm Liliana with the Vencraft Studio Season of Wreaths and Holiday Decor. And I am here today because I wanted to show you some floral arrangements. So as usual, let me make sure that I could see you, hear you, all that good stuff. And then we'll get started. Now, the reason why I wanted to show you these is because spring is coming, uh, Mother's Day is coming, and arrangements are a cute way um, to decorate. They're an easy way to decorate, and they also make nice gifts. So the other thing is that when you're looking at arrangements online, a lot of times you can't really tell. So I have a few moss, moss arrangements and I wanted to, here we go, why, sorry, this is like the usual, before I log on, before I come on. What is going on? Okay, so, no, it's doing it again. Facebook is not working with me. Nope. Um, anywho. So yeah, so I wanted to show you these. Here we go. Okay, fine. Um, so I wanted to show you these just in case if you had any questions because when you're looking at these online, a lot of times, even if they're in a lifestyle setting, which I do have um, in my photos, it's still not easy to tell. You can still be a little bit confused in, in regards to the sizes. And even if we have details and descriptions, I know it's not always the easiest. So that's why I'm here. I wanted to show you a few arrangements and see what you think. Um, so these are all moss arrangements. I'm actually going to be adding more arrangements to my store, to my website um, within the next couple of weeks because it will be spring. I mean, what day is it? Today's the 4th. So on the 20th, 21st is spring. So even though you might still have some snow, technically it's spring. So it's time to start changing the court, right? Okay. So let's show you the first one. Oh, I didn't. Wait a minute. Sorry. I'm like, got that? You Okay. Sorry, she didn't want to come down today. For the first time, she didn't want to be live. She always, My daughter always wants to be live, and she didn't want to come down. So now I'm, like, listening to her, making sure she's okay. But it's the age now, right? It's the age. She's four now, so she's big. She's a big girl. She doesn't want to be with me. Just last, a few months ago, she was fine being doing lives with me. Okay, so if you go on my website, they're under the gift section and also the spring section. So I'm just going to pin this. So if you want to see them, if you have any questions about them, there you could have most questions answered. So here they are. There, That is pinned to the bottom. Wow, I am on a roll today. Okay, so I just got started. That'll get pinned, there we go. Pinned, there you go. Okay, so the first one, the first guy that we're looking at is a moss arrangement, but this one is, is actually listed as a purple hydrangea floral. Now, like I said, I wanna show these because they're very confusing. If you look at the photo, they seem to be small, but if you look at it, it really isn't small. It's not small. Now, another thing about arrangements, if you go off of the base, you think, you're gonna think a lot of times that you have a small a small arrangement, and not that's not necessarily the case. The reason I say that is, in this case it is small, it stayed kind of true to the size of the, well, within the container. But for example, over the summer I went to a wedding. The wedding arrangements were ginormous. But if you looked at the foam where they were made on, it was tiny. I actually was able to keep one. And I, de I deconstructed the whole thing and I measured it out because I was just so impressed with... It was like 25 inches wide. But the what it was made on was like 9 inches. So that's what I'm saying. So if you look at the container, sometimes you're going to think like, oh, the arrangement is tiny. And that not necessarily the case. In this case, yeah, it is pretty true to it. But if you look at the sky... Um, it's like 16 inches wide, but the base itself is 12 inches wide. So you have about a little bit more than two inches on each side. So that is the first guy. And if you look at it, look, it's a cute little handbag. Do you see that? Can you tell that it has like a little handle? Wait, let me see if you can see that. It's a handbag. So they're different. They're cute. They do shed. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to be honest. I like to be very transparent. And I actually, before I made these, I sprayed them with sealant and it didn't, it, it worked a little bit but they do shed. So that's the first one. And again, like I said, I'm here to show you what they look like because when you look at things online, you're really not sure what the sizes are. Okay, so this one, like I said, the first one, and it's not, it's not so small. Now the next one is a cutie, again with hydrangeas. This one has pink and green hydrangeas and I'm not sure if these are petunias. Honestly, I'm not sure what the flowers. I'm still learning a lot of my flowers. But this guy, same thing. 
And if you see me peeling stuff off, it's little glue strings that might be still on it. Um, a little bit different. The, the styles of the handbags for the four handbags, I believe I have four handbags. They're different handbag styles, but same concept, same idea. If you see that, sorry, got to see the tag on there. Um, but you see, they're not, they're not small. They're not tiny. Let me step back so you can see how the size. It's not a tiny arrangement. This one is about 15 inches and the base is about eight inches. So you see eight inches and I'm talking width. But you have two different color, three different color flowers on here. See, it's very simple, but it's cute. These are cute, quick um, gift ideas. And you could put them anywhere, put them at work. If you know me, I like to decorate my workspace. Um, if I even when I worked at a cube when I worked in the office and I had a cubicle, I still decorated that. So this is just an idea. This this I wouldn't put in a cubicle. It's a little bit big. <laughs> but what I'm saying is that you could um, find quick decorated solution with just little arrangements. A couple of flowers, even just a few flowers. I've done that too. I've taken a few flowers and just thrown them on the side and that's it. Okay, the next guy. This one is full of daisies. This one has four different colored daisies, but again, they are all the same concept, just different flowers. Uh, I was, I just want to know what you think about these. I added these to the store. I know, like I said, that's why I'm showing them because I, they were listed on the shop, but they never, I never showed them. I showed my wreaths, I showed everything, things moved, but these guys, um, I think it was the size that was a little bit confusing. So that's why I'm here. That's why I like wearing my solid color clothes so you could see, get a better idea of it. But again, they are all much bigger than what they seem when you see the photos on, on my website. So here, this one is also the same, about 16, 17 inches wide. And the base is also, hmm, I don't know, this one's more like nine. You see, they are different sizes. But that's why you can't go by the size of the base. Like I said, if you just joined me, what I said before was, or I'm just repeating that, you might have a tiny little base and then a huge arrangement that pops out of it. So these, I try to stay true to it only because of this, you know, it's it's a handbag. So I don't wanna, I don't want to lose what it was. The whole purpose of that arrangement is that it is on a, it, it, it was made in a moss handbag. So if you look through here, see right here, you could actually see the handle. The handles on both sides see that so i wanted to stay true to what the, to what it was i don't want to lose it so if i would have made a ginormous arrangement off of this then we would have lost it so i wanted to stay true to what it is okay and then finally so it was going to be quick i wasn't going to be here long but then i always say that and then i end up finding more things to show this one's more of a tropical it has lilies wild roses a few hydrangeas but then look at these beautiful, 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 beautiful palm leaves. So this one obviously is much bigger than the first two. The width is a little bit more like about 21 inches, a little more than that, about 21 inches. And the base is also bigger. The base you're looking at about eight inches. Did I say nine on the last one? Yeah, I did. Um, so this one, yeah, no, this one's 12. I'm sorry, this one's 12. My God, my math is off today. Uh, 12 inches. This one's big. Yeah, the other one was nine. This one's 12. So it is a little bit bigger. But again, it's the same thing. You have a handbag. See that? A handbag. You can see the handles. And that's what's cute about it. Most people don't find these. Like, you, you don't find these in a store. You can't really buy these anywhere unless you go to a specialty shop. And nowadays, you're not going to find find these unless you look for them online, specifically online, when you know what words to put in. Because these aren't an, an everyday thing. So... Am I missing comments? I feel like I see comments over there and I don't see comments here. Hold on. There is a comment here. Hi, Courtney. See, I knew it. So I see them on my, I'm on my phone, but then I, they're not popping up on my computer. Hello, Courtney. How are you? How are you? I was thinking about you. I'm actually working on a lake design and I was like, Ooh, Courtney lives by a lake. <laughs> so yeah. So I thought of you. So this one, yeah, this guy, I love it. I truly love it. And it's a big one. But again, I mean, picture this one pretty much anywhere. 
I know this one has more of a summer feel if you think about it just because of the palms but more like a tropical feel and tropical doesn't necessarily mean summer right I mean I guess because I live in the northeast summer is tropical but really if I go to a tropical weather in summer in February it's still tropical there right did that make sense I'm like <laughs> does that make sense at all um so yay happy Friday to you too I'm good things are good things are good no complaints here. I'm just trying to get organized because spring is already here and I'm just getting started on spring. But luckily I already have a lot of spring that I've made before. But yeah, I'm I'm trying to clean up. I'm decluttering stuff, organizing, and getting ready to have more classes because that's why, that's actually part of the reason I'm here. I wanted to show you arrangements because the other thing I wanted to tell you about was that I've been having the Zoom calls, well, the Zoom classes, the tutorials, and the next one that we're going to be doing now in March, so in three weeks, I've been trying to, I've been having them on the fourth Friday. So we're going to try to stick with the fourth Friday. Um, next month, I'm gonna, it might be third, I'm not going to lie. Um, but um, we're going to make an arrangement. I haven't finalized it. I'm going to try to finalize it this week. And so I could post it so you could see what we're going to make. And that way, whoever wants to join us could come on and we make it together. That's what I, that's what I love doing. I mean... I have a corporate background. I was a trainer. I had to teach people and all that stuff. So being that I have my craft that I love and I love interacting with you and we can't be together in a room, then let's do it via Zoom, right? Why not? So that's why I do that. That's, I mean, if I had the class and it felt so, so good to be interacting with someone and make it together at the same time. So the next one is going to be, like I said, an arrangement. I'm finalizing the products, the items for it, and then I'll be posting it and you sign up via Rembrandt and that's it. I'll send it to you. Honestly, though, just because I'm already talking about it, it makes your life easier if you just buy the kit or try to buy the items where I recommend only because we had a few attendants, but they they were new to the create to the craft world and they didn't buy the right items so then they got a little bit i feel bad so we had to try to we had to have a do-over for them but um i'm getting better with but that's that was a lesson for me as well because then my next list was more detailed and i put photos like all right this is what you need guys instead of just having a regular list like you know before it was like listed out like hey you need a work wreath they bought a wire wreath which isn't the same wreath makers know that um they did it so now i put pictures so you know what to use so when we make it together you're not confused so we'll do that okay so keep reading comments no so, you know, spring spring up on me like yeah I'm in in here in my heart because there's still snow melting outside no it's so it's so cold today was actually 21 degrees well it is 21 degrees outside i thought it was gonna get warmer i honestly thought it was gonna get warmer but it's 21 degrees outside i was offended when i woke up this morning when i look at the weather i'm like i'm getting my kids ready for school i'm like all right guys where are you at and i'm like alexa what's the weather and she's like 21 i'm like what 21 21 yeah 21 i was not happy i'm like okay enough already but then again sometimes we have snow in april right so now is when you have that funky weather where it's like 60 which it was 60 like two weeks ago and then it's 40 and then now it's 20 i mean come on so yeah i don't i'm not too fond of the cold but I think you guys, if whoever follows me knows that about me. I, I appreciate it. I, I love the snow looks beautiful. But then after a while, I, I don't like, I prefer the cold. I'll, I'll sit outside in hot weather. Like people are sweating and I'll sit there happily. I will be happily out there with the humidity. I love it. I'll sit there. That's me though. So probably when I get a little bit, when everybody starts retiring, you know, I'll be one of those that moves to Florida. <laughs> everybody else. That's me. All right. So again, these are gift ideas gift items decor for yourself quick cute little pops of decor another thing that i love to make i made quite a few for valentine's they're still available in my shop but i'm gonna make some spring ones now and they are lantern swags you know me i love lantern swags so lantern swags i'm gonna start making them this weekend i have a couple of orders that i'm working on so i'm gonna finish these orders and then i'm gonna start working on lantern swags lantern swags you know me i like to go outside and show you that i have it on a post outside this is the one that I have here. It's getting retired this year. It's already, it needs to move on. But this is the lantern swag that I had outside on my post in front of my house. And it's, it's, it's finished. I'm not gonna use it again this year. But this guy 
has been through snow, has been through ice, has been through hail, has been through crazy rain. Three, three springs and late into summer. And you know that last year, I think I didn't even I stayed out there till pretty much till fall. It's not till fall. You were 70 degrees yesterday and 45 today. No, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's exactly what I'm talking about. I, It's like, come on. Come on. So I never, you know how some people say, you know, a, a lot of people, they change their their clothing for the seasons i don't i don't i don't change it it's like i just i don't change out the seasons my house is always 74 degrees <laughs> people come over they think i'm crazy it's 74 degrees always at my house it is so we open the windows sometimes but my house is always 74 degrees nope i like it nice and warm 74 and if it's 90 it's cool i, I don't mind so back to the lantern swags so the lantern swags i am adding more lantern swags these again remember you do not have to use these on a lantern now if you're wondering what it looks like on a lantern let me show you right here different lanterns why there are different size lanterns you have ginormous ones you have tiny ones but this is the lantern swag that i have by my fireplace and all you have to do is it has this coiled wire on it and you just twist it on and let me tell you this this coiled wire i'm telling you look i didn't even change it you can see how it's fading this three seasons out there um, and you just twist it on and it's not going to go anywhere. This stuff is strong. Even if it starts peeling because it is like that, it's not a raffia, but it's like a paper. It looks like a raffia. Uh, maybe it is, I'm not sure, but it's like a paper, a brown paper, pretty heavy, but then it starts sometimes, um, coming off of it. It's fine. It's so it's the wire that you really care about. So this guy, like I said, it's been out there and I could still, if I wanted to, if I got lazy, I could still use it. I could still use it, but you see the fading and this is some extreme fading after three seasons out there three so it was 2019 2020 2021 and i also had the matching wreath that i made you know why i, I use them over and over it's because i feel bad i feel bad like getting rid of them i feel bad but this is the matching because you know me i like to match so this was my matching wreath now the matching wreath is outside on a covered like on the rim of the house so it doesn't have direct it might have a little bit of sunlight but it's not crazy direct sunlight but it also faded some and this is where you can see like the original color of the ribbon see the difference let me show you let me show you but for three years it's not bad so that's what i'm trying to say i mean and they didn't fall apart look at the sky gorilla glue they don't fall apart sun 90, like it was out there in the summertime too so look at the different colors well, this is the same ribbon because they were made together and look how it faded over time but this is over th three years not bad not bad so it's a good investment that's what i'm trying to say if you're thinking about decorating making it yourself it is as long as you use the, the correct glues seal it the right way um attach things correctly you're gonna get a lot a lot of life out of these but for me these guys are over. I also retired my my um fall. My fall's done. My fall, I also I buffalized it, then I bluefied it, and then this year we're finished. We're gonna make a new fall tobacco basket. So speaking of that, my tobacco basket last year, I've been switching it back and forth. Well, we're gonna go live maybe to maybe tomorrow, if not next week, and we're gonna make a new design for my tobacco basket. So yay! I love working on that. I love tobacco baskets. I know you know that. I love swags. And it's time to get a new one. So that just gives you idea. So the reason I like to do that is because I like... I come from a small apartment. Space. Everybody pays for storage. And even though you pay for, for storage space, 5 by 10 is still not enough. So I got used to upgrading, repurposing my decor or whatever you want to call it. Um, because these bases and i'll show you you know what let me show you my, my tobacco basket is right here let me show you i made the mistake of throwing out the box when i bought it but here's my tobacco basket so my tobacco basket still has fall on it whoopsie it just went it took a little fall but it is going to be repurp we're gonna take this nice thingy off here the design and we're gonna make it for spring. So now you know, join me. We're gonna make it for spring. Maybe tomorrow. I'll be sure to announce it in advance so that whoever wants to join me. But that's it. This guy's gone. This guy's gone. When we first did it, 
a couple of years ago 2019 it was just this 2019 we added the buffalo remember we buffaloized it and then last year we blueified it that's it can't do anything else with it and it's still good it's still good it's i mean it's it's beautiful it's beautiful but i i didn't attach any of these so these are going to go back in my my personal inventory so i could reuse them for my next designs so that's it did i i don't think i no i didn't attach them see it hurts it hurts when you like spend all this time working on something you take it apart like the christmas tree yeah so anywho so that's it Thank you for spending time with me. I should come on here every day just to chat. My daughter is up there on her iPad. She's ignoring me. So thank you so much for being with me. Oop, any more comments? Seal it. No, yeah, I said seal it, but what I do in terms of sealing is like, um, I don't spray them. I don't spray them. What I do is, let me see, where, where'd it go? Some people do spray them. Some people spray them with, see, I like that. Sorry, you, you start asking me questions, you know I start going off on tangents. With these guys. With matte coatings. Matte coatings. I add these to my containers. My containers, I do like to add these to. I don't add them to the flowers. These flowers, no. These flowers, no. But what I meant by sealing is by, for example, the, um, the lantern swag itself. I add a lot, a lot, a lot of glue in here so I like make sure that it's nice and tight so it doesn't go anywhere. So even though, for example, I'm trying to find like something to give you an example. So like, I'm here, I'm acting like I don't have tons of flowers. For example, if you're using, all right, let's say, let's just say these. Let's say this is going to be my lantern swag, right? And I'm holding these guys right here and I'm going to attach it. This where the lantern swag is going to go down, right? look at that I just got an idea now this part here because I added different parts to it I'm gonna add a crazy amount of glue here to make sure so to me that's like I'm sealing it I'm making sure that it's not gonna go anywhere and then here then I'll add the top and then the bow goes here so that's what I mean by sealing I some I don't know how other people do it somebody just like add the the pipe I'm sorry the zip ties to it and then the pipe cleaners or whatever to that then I add a tremendous amount of glue to make sure that guy does not go anywhere because you don't want it to fall apart. And this is, that's part, I mean, I believe that's part of the reason why it's lasted so long. I mean, and it's not, I don't live in nice weather. I, come on, it's 20 degrees outside. And my Valentine's Day one, I just took it off a few days ago. Yeah. Oh, no problem. No problem. Glad to help. Glad to help. But yeah, I, I, I am very paranoid. I pretty much treat everything well. Well, you're one of my customers now. <laughs> Whoever is watching, well, Courtney, who's here with us, I know you might not see the comments. Uh, she's one of my customers. I go crazy making sure that the back has, you don't see the zip ties, you don't see the attachments. I put ribbon on everything, and then I'm always constantly running my hand behind everything because I'm afraid of potentially scratching your door. You don't want, if you have a black door, I mean, it may happen, it may happen, accidents do happen, but I am running my hand behind this all the time and if i feel a little bump i'm like oh i gotta go back and then i cut it add a little more glue add a little more leaf to it whatever and i'm constantly doing that and if you're a maker i mean i don't know if you do that but i think we all should because i just think about the final the final product for a customer like you don't want to scratch up anybody's door so yeah so with the lantern swags yeah it's a lantern swag but people use these on doors uh people use these on their walls people use these on the the tables there's a cute that's another another gift idea these are actually gift i've sold these many of them as gift ideas people have used these um uh, my customers have bought them to gift because they could use them as a nice little decorative piece on a, on a table so you don't want to scratch somebody's table you do not want to do that so another item for example see you asked me a question i keep going is I'm working on this guy right now. How cute is this guy? See, Ooh, this is cute. This is gonna be so cute. Um, but these guys, once you attach these pieces to them, you feel the pine needles coming through the back. So I will sit here, you will see me, not even looking at it, just feeling it, feeling it, and oh, I feel a bump, come back, and then add glue, seal it. That's what I mean by, so maybe it's not the correct word. <laughs> Maybe it's not the correct word, but it's like, take care of it, get rid of it. 
So I'm constantly just, okay, what do I feel? What do I feel? Oh, I feel a bump here. And sometimes it's not what I attach to it, what I added to it. Sometimes, yes, it may be the florals that I added to it that might pop out on the side. Many times it's just the pine itself. Like right here, I feel a bump. I feel it. So guess what? I'm going to go back now. Well, when I finish it and I'm going to cut that and then add a little dot of glue to it. So yeah, but back to sealing, there are people that like to use these. I use these on my containers. So if you have ever purchased a floral arrangement that's on a metal container, yes, these do. I spray them down with these. And I have quite a few of those that I need to be that I need to make, but you know me guys, I, I'm all over the place and with the kids and I haven't gotten to make. But this one's coming soon. I should make this one live. I really should make this one live. This is a cute one. Oh yeah, I, I'm 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 crazy. I'm crazy. I, I you know what it is? I've always been a customer service. Ever since I was a kid, my first job was in retail rag shop. If anybody remembers rag shop, I worked in a craft store my first job. So I worked at Models, always always the cashier, the customer service, and I worked in hotels, and I was a waitress, so it's always about customer service, so that's like, that, that's, I've always been in that world, so dealing with complaints, and then even when, when I was in corporate America, I dealt with financial advisors, Those that's really customer service, so yeah, it's like, uh -uh. you want to minimize you, you want to have like high client expectations clients have high expectations and you want to be able to meet them so that's why i'm a little bit crazy with my stuff yeah so anyways so stay tuned tomorrow if not next week i'll keep you posted we're gonna work on on that tobacco basket and make it for spring because it is time spring will be here before you know it and stay tuned i don't know if you're one of my customers if you like to shop or if you're one of the makers which i gotta do a poll i have to have a poll because i know i have both makers and buyers here um so i may have to maybe create a separate page i don't know but basically i want to be able to help you all because in the end we all just want to make pretty things either we make them or we like to decorate with them right Okay, so that's it for now. Thank you so much. Thank you for being with me. I appreciate you. Let me make sure I don't have any more comments. Uh, appreciate your time. It means a lot to me. And I hope you are staying warm <laughs> wherever you are, even though we have these sudden gusts of cold wherever you may be up in the Northeast. We have them right now. But anyways, take care. Love you all. Take care. Bye.